little touch-up paint because the paint's kind of peeling. Then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to touch up car paint using an airbrush. Now as you can see here, a while back somebody tried painting the bottom of this car black instead of silver the whole way. I'm going to paint it back to silver so it looks better. And heck, since this is the bottom of the car, we're going to sand it down a little. But we don't need to do a perfect job because it's just the bottom. We want it to look one color to match the rest of the car instead of being this blotchy black and silver where they painted it and came off. Now once you sand it enough good, you can get some of this tack cloth and you wipe it to get rid of any impurities or dust that's in the way. It's called tack cloth because it's tacky. When you wipe it, it's sticky and it'll pick up any impurities that are here before you spray paint it. And you can see it's got the grease and grime off of it so you can paint it. Then you get out your little airbrush compressor and airbrush wand for spray painting it with. And get yourself some paint. I just took the paint number off this car, went to an auto paint store, and they mixed me up a tiny batch. And if you're curious, here it is on the door jam. Color, trim, there's the numbers for the paint. And make sure you have a little reducer to thin the paint. I use 50% thinner and 50% paint on a job like this. So we pour half paint and half reducer inside. I got this at the same paint store. Then you mix it all up inside this little eyedropper that comes with the airbrush kit. Then we put on the top, turn on the compressor, and away we go. You want to spray in little arcs, putting thin layers on one at a time. You don't want to put on too much and make it drip. You want it so you put in layer over layer over layer and eventually it fills the whole color in. And of course do what I do, put an old tarp over the tire so you don't paint that inadvertently. You want to be patient. You want to spray a little like this in an arc and then let go at the end and then spray it back and let go at the end. Once it's starting to look good, then get a big fan and let it air dry for 5 or 10 minutes and then put another few coats on it to make it look better. Then once you're done painting, you get a little of the reducer and you pour it into the cup and then spray it out just to clean it out. Then it'll get all the paint out of the nozzles and it won't clog up the next time you want to use it. Look inside, it's whistle clean now and you can use it next time. And if you really want to do a good job, you can put this clear coat top coat on it, makes it shine even more. Just wait to do that eh, the next morning when everything's totally dry. A few coats of the clear coat. And now it really looks good and matches the rest of the car. I don't know why guys painted the bottom of them black. I guess it's just to cover up dents or something. It looks a lot better one color than part of it black and part of it silver anyway. So the next time your car needs a little touch up paint, why not try airbrushing it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.